So do you want to know if Vinzo Raw Hair is the vendor that you're looking for for your business? And do you want a free vendor list? Well, keep on watching. If you're feeling stressed with all of the search of finding the best vendor for you, well, I've been there. Hi, my name is Oris and today I'm going to be sharing with you my pros and my cons of going with Vinzo hair vendor and i'm also be including a free vendor list for your business just to make the search easier for you now with my pros i'm just going to be going down a list starting with the hair texture so they had lovely hair texture they had the raw wavy they had straight hair they had um they had the curly hair i'm going to be sharing with you the pictures and what all their textures were looking like they had all of these textures which is good which is brilliant because obviously you had choices and also their lace they had for the frontal lace they were selling hd lace and um transparent lace so now if you are aware of raw hair companies a lot of them don't have good hd lace or they don't sell hd lace they focus primarily on transparent laces but they do offer hd lace which was a plus the next one was shipping the shipping was really quick um i think i ordered i ordered it like i mean four five days he arrived here in the uk so it was really really quick for the shipping and also from the discussion i had with the seller um if it was the us it will be quicker now for the payment the payment was a little bit of an issue because um they offered um wise they offered um i think western union and bank transfer but they did not offer paypal which was something that i always use so it was a bit of a struggle for me but what i did was i went with wise because i've actually never used wise before and i thought you know what i might as well just give it a try so i went with wise in purchasing with this vendor. and before i go on i'm just going to show you what the hair looks like i got a 22 inch 20 inch 18 inch 16 inch and a 16 inch closure which is a six by six when i got the bundle so i got four bundles and a closure and usually the reason i do this is because i like to wear test and i also like to see how um full the hair is usually when you get for raw hair when you go for raw hair raw hair is quite um full um you only need three three bundles but what i did was i went in with um three bundles and just a bit because i like my hair a bit fuller so this was what was left of their 16 inch um this was what was left so i went for their raw wavy as well so um it's that like a natural wave so i made the hair into a week as usual and this is the week i made it into um you can see it's a bit full for three bundles and a bit and a closure now moving on to the con of um the raw hair vendor the first con is when i got the package from the vendor like i said initially it was really nice the hair was nice the hair was nice and soft the hair texture looked good the first thing I looked at was the lace. Was the lace. So usually um, I get a bit nervous about the laces because one time they will tell you it's HD lace, but it never is. But what I noticed was the lace was quite thin and fragile. Just to put it out there, I'm a bridal hairstylist. And usually uh, my key thing when I'm getting frontals or laces for my brides is I go for thin laces. And I actually get them specifically made for my veggie air vendor. So when I got this lace, I felt like, okay, it's quite similar. But I thought it was a bit fragile. And I was like, okay, let me just give you a benefit of doubt. It might just be a good lace, but it just looks fragile. Next thing I did after opening the pack was i wash the bundles that's the first thing i do is i wash the bundles i got some smell but the smell seemed like processed smell the smell when you get when the hair is processed but um i've had a situation where before with another vendor where i got the hair and the hair smelled like it was possible it actually wasn't because when i did all of the tests it came out right i didn't really struck off from that i just felt okay maybe it's not too par. another thing is during my wash process i used my neutralizing shampoo and i felt like it was a bit off the color was a bit off but i still felt give you a benefit of doubt and you know like sometimes you do get those patches now the next thing i did was after washing it and obviously making sure that it's dry i went to bleach test the hair so usually when i bleach test my hair i use like a 30 volume developer and like um and they really bleach really quickly in 30 minutes so 6 13 very quick however this did not lift it took about 30 minutes 
for 40 minutes to get a lift and when he lifted it was it was still coming out copper shade um this has been toned so but um i don't know if you can see the difference from what i have here and what i have here you can see that it didn't lift to 613 um when i'm testing my hair i always test bleach test all of my hair including the wig that i'm making it into because i just want to see how it holds up i'm actually in the process of launching my raw hair or locks hair business and then my main point is to ensure that any hair or any wig i'm selling to my clients are 100 percent unprocessed so that's why i bleach it and i wear it just to see how it holds up but it didn't come out well with the bleach test i didn't like the way it turned now the next thing is when I bleach the midi into a wig, I decide to wear it wet. Actually, before I move on to that, it was the lace. So when I was making it into a wig, I didn't like the way the lace turned out, to be honest. I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, the lace was really thin. It was too thin. Like it was fragile like i there was this the holes in it and usually i can't remember the last time i punched a hole in a lace maybe like two years ago it was so fragile so i love hd laces i love thin laces but when it's too thin and too fragile what's the point why would i want to pour money down the drain so that's how i felt with the lace i didn't like the way it turned out for the lace now moving on when i wore the hair that was another thing it was napping like the hair was napping at the back of my neck and that was one of my pet peeves like i cannot stand that like when i i'm gonna show you an example i don't know i brushed it out so i don't know if it's gonna come out but can you see even though i brushed it out like i'm struggling to put my hands through this hair like it shouldn't be this should not be the case of if your hair is high quality like can you see that it's it's just matting i don't know why it's so strange like you should be able to roll your hand through your hair and it should like flow freely not matting so that was one thing one massive thing that put me off i felt like everything else didn't have to but apart from one of the major thing that it did this was one of the major thing that put me off the hair another thing to point out that is shipping was expensive what i got i think i got um four bundles and a closure and the shipping was like 70 dollars which i find expensive because i've even purchased like a thousand five hundred dollars hair and the shipping i'm paying for is like seventy dollars why am i paying the same amount for this bonnet even though the kg is lower another thing was the pricing was a bit expensive i'm going to put the pricing on the screen for those three bundles that i got um for the four bundles and of course i think i paid about six hundred and eighty dollars and in pounds it was about 500 and something pounds and is that is a lot and if i'm paying that kind of amount for my hair it shouldn't be matting why like why are you matting sis like you shouldn't be matting i should be bleaching you and you should be like on point so what i'm going to be telling you now is what brought the camels back because there's no way like i'm gonna be paying you so much money and you're making errors so when i um got the pack i kind of gave them the benefit of doubt and i didn't measure the hair or anything but because i'm quite used to seeing a lot of length so i can tell the length when i got the lace i was confused i felt okay did i order a 14 inch or was it a 16 but i didn't look at my invoice and i just thought maybe i ordered a 14 and everything then later i went back in there and i saw that i ordered a 14 a 16 inch but i could see that they sent me a 14 inch so i chased the guy and i said hi like i'm gonna put what i said on my screen and i said hi um i measured the hair and the hair is telling me the um your closure is saying 14 inches and then um, it kind of said oh i didn't measure it properly or there's a different way to measure it i'm like guy like what i even did was i put a 14 i put a of 16 14 inch of another closure and it's on 14 inch together and you can see it's the same length and i took a 16 inch of another closure and i put it together is the same length and i was like and it kept going on i know i'm gonna speak to my boss i just left it and he came back saying oh um it's the way i measured it i should have measured it just patting the hair lying it down i'm just like you know what forget it and he said oh they're gonna give me five dollars off like that's not even the amount that's the difference between 
so and again their pricing is ridiculous because is priced so expensive like i felt like that was the most expensive raw hair i have bought in all of my tests and the reason i bought it regardless of how much was because i was thinking okay let me see how pure this is because if it's pure i'm gonna get it anyway i'm gonna make sure that my clients or my business my new hair business and even my brides that opt for the raw hair they get the best so that's why i decided to go for it and i felt like i felt really insulted five dollars and the difference is about thirty dollars and i'm thinking why are you offering me five dollars like come on like it doesn't make any sense that's all i have to say about the vins or raw hair vendor to be honest i'll never go back there it's not my thing but if you're thinking that you still want to try it i'm gonna leave um the details right here on the screen you can go for it but i would not advise you to but you know what they might have sent me a raw, raw, wrong batch of their hair or sometimes some of these vendors they are the quality of the straight hair is different from the quality of the um the wavy hair moving on to the free vendor list just to put a disclaimer out there you need to test your hair yourself even though i'm giving you a free vendor list this needs to be tested bear in mind that i did not specifically buy from this vendor but what i did i did a lot of research and i'm also on a group and in this group it's been i think i've seen it once or twice i actually did a lot of research also one of my friend got some hair from them and the hair looks so nice now the name of this vendor is abdi alam i'm gonna share my de the details for the vendor reason why i'm not going with them as a vendor at the moment and i think i'm actually gonna go is because i've tested so many hair before you order from them i would advise not to get their lace because the knots it's not that great that there's a lot of big knots going i've seen this from my friend's um lace and it wasn't good i will not get their lace their bundles really good but what you can do is you can pair the bundle with a virgin hair lace abdi alarm you can check that let me know in the comments if you've used them before i'm happy to share more free vendors as well because i've done quite a lot of research i have a whole a whole book of vendor list the one i'm giving you now is one of my top ranks so feel free to try them i advise you to try them first before buying a lot of hair from them so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and even leave a comment appreciate you watching this video Thank you for watching and God bless you.